So, this is uh, Death Road to Canada, a new game that just came out on Steam, I think, earlier this week, if not the week before. It's um, currently $14.99, and we're going to run through it. I've already played through this game. Um, I think I did two runs, one so good, pretty good, one not so good. Hadn't reached Canada yet, but um, if you will notice, this game, when we get started, is a little bit like, um, I guess, Oregon Trail. So, using a pixelated look, we can generate a whole bunch of random units, or we can load up our own custom ones. Let's see. I think for the sake of, um... Well, let's go back and let's see if we can make a character. So you can make your own custom characters here, they have all their own appearances and stuff like that. Um, we can randomize all their abilities. I guess let's make our editor-in-chief. He's a friend of dog. Oops, picked the wrong one. Now let's pick a trait for him. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Try and find something not so insulting, but um Actually that's a pretty good one, no faults to it. And so with that we can start adjusting him. Two gender options. Find his clothing. He's a small boy. Let's find the right face for him. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Make it a tad darker. Currently clean shaven at the moment, I know that for a fact. We can give him a hat. Just looking for a standard baseball hat with nothing on it. That works. And let's give him some glasses because he is a nerd. Ah, oh, and we have beard options too, I guess. He currently doesn't have a beard. Alright. So we got CJ. So we'll start a new game. I guess we'll just make CJ our main character. Our buddy. We'll randomize somebody. Trying to find someone with a good uh, car repair skill. Because it's always... Yeah, there we go. So CJ and Wand. We'll put on normal characters for now. Um, there's all these different game modes you unlock by um, being in the game multiple times. that get harder and harder. Um, this one is very good for running through the game with and getting a lot of like rare characters. There's a lot of cameos from other studios involved. And just some you know tropes from uh, existing uh, horror franchises. But we'll just start with Death Row Normal for now. Click. All right, let me do all the reading. Okay, CJ Melendez hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free from the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from weighing around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. So let's hit the road. So every time you start this game, you start in a car of different quality, and you're supposed to spend the next, I think, two weeks driving to Canada. So we can um, explore a factory right now. There's a small swarm size. Zombies aren't going to be aggressive, and it's late morning. Let's explore it. And with each location, we also have the option to travel to another location. It has um, a different amount of gas on it. I mean, well, it um, takes some gas to go to that location, but it gives us a different um, rollout for what we can explore. So, CJ's armed with an umbrella. Our other character, one's armed with a cane. Not too good of weapons, but let's go for it. Yeah. 
Do we? Uh, don't quit. Sorry, my buttons were mixed up a little bit. So as you swing at enemies, especially with this umbrella, it's not going to be too strong. You start getting tired, your face starts turning red, you lose breath. So we want to get out of this area as quick as possible. Fighting is not really too much of an option at this moment. So we see any glowing items on the ground, that means we can grab them. Right now we're scavenging. Not really too much in here right now. A lot of zombies though. Found one gas from there. Not a lot of good stuff in here. Oh, maybe that toilet has something actually. Another gas. Alright. Let's walk around these guys. So zombies don't actually have to hit you, um, there's like no damage that way, it's just that if they surround you for an extended period of time, then you die. And her tool broken, so we're not in good shape right now. Got fine. Okay, they're good, there's some actual weapons in here. So we got some bullets, there's a golf club on the ground. More bullets, I really have to get her that golf club. Problem is there's a lot of zombies right now. Just grab that golf club. item. A grenade. Don't need that right now. I'm trying to force her to walk over this um, golf club, which is proving a bit, a bit harder than normal. Okay, we'll just leave that area. Luckily all the zombies are not there anymore. So kind of, I kind of like the music in this game. It's um, Super Nintendo quality, even though it doesn't really have much to do with the scenario I'm in. Grab that pipe. Thank you. Okay. So now she has a pipe, so she can actually help me out. Out. Some zombies through that door. Let's not go that way. So now off to a very good start right now. We're being constantly surrounded with no weapons. Luckily all the zombies left that area. So we can leave at any point we want, but we obviously um, leave any extra supplies we left behind there. And as you can see, zombies will keep following through to X until I actually want to leave. So I'll leave pretty soon. Get those guys out of the way. All right, let's go. So we found some gas, found one metal item, and five pistol bolts for guns we don't have. Then off to a very good start. All right, so every once in a while, like in Oregon Trail, we'll get options of what we want to do. These we'll use to give you random results, unless you look at your stats. I guess we'll plan out tomorrow. Okay, increases her morale. Driving bad weather, rain starts pouring down. It's hard to see, and the safe zombies lurk outside in its darkness. The group isn't sure what could be worse. It's continuing or stopping here. Let's um seek shelter in the house. Oh, and it was a bad result because um, we sell them the house, but realize a large horde is closing in. So we have to survive for one hour. With a horde coming in. And very bad <laughs> low supplies. So if you look in the upper left hand corner, there's a timer that says the current time it is. So we have to basically survive until 5 o'clock. Luckily we can explore a little bit, find some supplies if we need to. Bullets, which I don't need. Um, let's see if I can grab that chair. You can use grab objects to block off the path if they're light enough. Fortunately none of these are. So, just have to survive for 35 more minutes. Shouldn't be too difficult. We can also hide behind these objects, make them have to make them forced to go through them. My partner's dying. Ugh. Alright, 25 seconds, then we'll have to make a run for it outside. Honestly, you're not doing, having a very good run so far. Um, piece of wood. This will break pretty easily. I have to help. I really have to really help my partner um, fight because she has low stamina. Okay, now we can actually try to escape. So let's walk all the way back around, get out of this place. Ugh. I might be dying. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Or at least she will. Yeah, she might be dead. Yep. Okay, she died. Let's go. 
So that was pretty bad hand. We have low health. <laughs> now off to get a good start. This might be a very short run. Okay, so we can go to a bar or bookstore at this point. Um, not too many zombies. I can take care of myself pretty well. Let's go to a bookstore. So basically these segments are like town moments. You can explore and leave whenever you want. But obviously if I want supplies, and I do, then I'll have to stay for a while, find everything I can. Bullets. Got some food, which is good. More food. Yeah, I can usually avoid more <laughs> most zombies without too much issue. Let's close that door behind us. So the randomly generalized um, rooms, they don't really match the outside or make much sense since some areas overlap into each other, but I guess it's just the complexities of making a randomly generated game. They broke through the door, so I can't stay here too long. Out of my way. Okay, let's lure these zombies around this side. Okay, so you can knock zombies down, but if you don't kill them, then they'll get back up eventually, for obvious reasons. Get through here. A lot of bullets, but no guns. I guess the bookstore was a bad choice to go. We still have a couple more rooms to explore, though. I'm just hoping I get a better weapon than the umbrella, because that's not going to last me too long. Okay, they're all following me now. A lot of rooms here. Zombie. What's this thing? Bullets. Got another umbrella, at least. I don't think they break from what I've seen so far, but they're not very strong. So far, it's taking like three hits to knock down a zombie and another two to destroy it. Not a very good weapon, obviously. I need a lead pipe or an actual gun. With guns, you don't run out of stamina, you just have to worry about managing bullets. Speaking of which, I've been finding a lot of those. <laughs> Zombies will randomly trip over themselves, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm just waiting for all of them to get through this area, then I'm going to run around them. Okay. Out of my way. Up, oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> okay. So, very bad run for CJ at the start. <laughs> Maybe I'll start a new game and have him as my ally. I have died on the death road to Canada. Kind of reminds me of the nuclear throne ending message. Let's give it another try. New game, empty slot. We'll load my custom character up, and we'll go with CJ. Let's actually turn on rare characters so we can see some of the kind of random stuff we get. Plus, the game is actually a little bit easier that way. I figure I would play for like an hour and a half, maybe, at most. Okay, same message as before. Let's go. So at the start, um, you can see our stats. Not really um, too much to worry about, but let's go. So, all these stats here kind of influence the RNG, and when you go to certain events, depending on all these things like mechanical or um, shooting, stuff like that, they'll aid you in those um, roles. And you don't really find out what these stats are until you run into a situation where you need them, so I'll have to fix the car first before I learn what my mechanical stat is. CJ will have to test his wits in order to charisma check before he finds out what his wits are. And you can slowly raise these stats by doing different events. So right now, our morale's pretty good. We just have to actually survive. Hopefully I can get a lot farther this time. Um, if you notice, there's a message that says player 2 can join. This game is um, local multiplayer, which is neat. Okay, this lead pipe, a lot better. I can knock down zombies in one hit. Flag store. Can't use the flag as a weapon. Got some food. Okay, right off the start we can find a gun. CJ can get that if he wants. Or I guess he doesn't want it. Fine then. Unfortunately, I don't have any bullets either, so. Oh. Almost got myself in a sticky situation there. Luckily, there's a lot of items in this room. I don't need two pistols, but let's kill some zombies. Okay, so as you can see, things can get... Looks like CJ's already dead. <laughs> Grab one of those guns. 
I'm playing a mouse keyboard right now because my Xbox store is on the fritz with this game, so not sure why. But yeah, things go south pretty quickly, but I find you can find survivors really easily too. I don't know if this game is balanced in the way that rubber bands if you're in pro if you're having problems or gets tougher the more you're surviving, but we'll see. And it's still being developed and worked on. It's not exactly in early access, but it's getting pretty constant updates at the moment. Toilet. So if you notice, the zombies have randomly generated faces too, which is kind of funny. I think I've already been here. Yeah, nothing in here. Out of my way. So yeah, I'm a fan of Metal Pipe, definitely. <laughs> Does a lot more damage than Umbrella. And you can switch to any of the playable characters in your party out if you want. So, like, on my other run, my main character actually died pretty early on. I had to switch to someone else. So nothing really here. I guess I'm just getting out at this point. So you have to actually start your car up, which has a random chance of not working sometimes. And zombies can attack your car during that moment. Hello, Sandtail28. I just saw your comment now. Alright, gets late, there's no place to camp. There's a random image. So zombies hollow around and might sneak up. Um Who should sneak up on Tom? Who should stay on watch? I guess I'm staying on watch and not sleeping. Oh, got hurt in the middle of that, sadly. Not a lot of loyalty. <laughs> Alright, so we um yeah, if we pause now now we can see my loyalty stat. I'm not very loyal. I can exercise at this point. Might as well exercise strength, get even buffer. <laughs> so that's going to help me with doing my swings, especially when I'm holding the metal pipe. That was always a fair weapon of mine in Long for Dead. Okay, so another area I can go to arcade or our apartment with a help banner. I'm hoping the help banner has people inside, otherwise, I would have gone to the arcade since I haven't seen that yet. Let's go to the apartment. Maybe we'll find another survivor. Let's boogie. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from the car so the zombies don't crowd up around there. So you can see some of these houses are blocked off. It's all randomly generated. A couple things in here. Um, I'm gonna keep my guns for now, actually, so. Don't need any of those. I am gonna take this katana. <laughs> Otaku katana, that is. Very nice. Okay. Need some more supplies. I should have probably left some of my other supplies in the car so I can pick up more. Off to a good start with this house. I might go back to that pipe though if this katana doesn't pan out. A lot of supplies in here. If I'm going back to a lot of areas I've been to before, I guess I have bad memory of that kind of shit, so I'm sorry. Just checking anyway, good. Um, sometimes if you notice the sparks around, they don't light up immediately. Or sometimes I even pick up items where I didn't see any sparks coming off of them. So it's always good to check. Okay, um, nothing in that direction. Let's just keep going. Couldn't close the door behind me, so they take longer. Nothing. Something in this um, toilet. There's some gas in that toilet for some reason. Okay, I'm digging this katana. It's been folded over a thousand times, so I know it's strong. 
Yeah, unfortunately I'm losing CJ really early on. I guess he's not he's not gonna survive the zombie apocalypse, but I'm staying pretty strong with all this strength I got. And hopefully we'll find another survivor soon. I think that uh, that message might be randomly Oh, here we go. Okay, so hopefully we'll find a survivor in here, which would be really nice. Just thinking about which direction I want to go. I dig this rock and track. No one yet. Finding a lost supplies though, which is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna need. Oh, do I have two pistols? Okay, I have... so for some reason I have two pistols and not any. I didn't pick up that shotgun properly, so not gonna help me out if I have two of the same weapon. So I'm gonna actually pick up some of these other things. Um, yeah. How good is a knife? Not too strong. All right. Katana is. Oh, yep. Here's a survivor. How's it going? Danielle says she really wants to get out of this place. She asks me to follow you around. Let her follow you. All right. So now we have another survivor following us. My katana just broke. Okay. I guess that's not a real katana then. <laughs> this nail board will probably break after a couple swings too. Okay. So now I'm armed with pretty bad shit right now, but luckily I think Kitchen Knife can survive for a bit. Being a weep has failed me in identifying that katana properly. We haven't tried this door yet. Yeah, so if you see this um, room below had a door that goes up to, the rooms don't exactly necessarily connect to each other properly. But I guess making um, randomly generated games is pretty difficult. Just gonna use the gun for a bit. Yeah, the gun's not too good, sadly. And I just broke that, so... I mean, the knife. So, we're gonna have to get out of here. Can I steal bone? Yes, okay. At least I got bone. Alright, definitely gonna have to run back to that first. Is that person gonna follow me about? I guess later. Oh, there she comes. Okay. Let's go back to that uh, first house and pick up some of the weapons in there again, because... Gonna need something better than this. Let's try a cleaver. That's probably better. And we'll switch from the femur back to the lead pipe. Okay. Good shape again. And we'll just jump, jump some of those zombies behind next time we go exploring. Alright, so let's get back to the car. The zombies are starting to pile up now, which is not good. Wait till my partner gets in. If they can get in. I want you to get in now. Okay. Guess I'm leaving one out you. I'm sorry. Okay, so she's service instruction, basically. Oh no, she can come along. Okay, I guess she just has to get near the car. That's good. Let's get her on her team. Okay, so now we have two people. Health's not doing too good, though. Let's see her stats. Good to mechanical and morale. Alright, we can go siphon gas. Um, I'll send her out. She's good at getting gas, I guess. A lot of prompts going on. Let's um, take a detour. Lose some gas on the way. Luckily, we have plenty of that, so I'm not too worried. And we can also check our progress. So, 13 days to Canada. 
That's two weeks. We run to a trading camp where we can get some supplies. I don't think we'll... I'd like to keep our food, though, so let's ignore them for now. And check the car. The car stats aren't doing too bad. Um, the engine will probably break before the Cassie. Helping to recruit a new character. Contender. I guess she's from something. She has a lot of health. Uh, let's check out her stats. Okay, she's so very strong. She has. Okay, she's so she's a boxing character, basically. Good to know. Okay, siege. So I'll have to survive for, um, I say 40 minutes, I guess. Let's see here. Okay. So she has a bunch of boxing gloves and she can't equip any new, new different items. So good to know. Danielle, just have to keep her a knife. And I'll stick with the pipe. We can also have them, um, in other missions, you can have them rest and just stay behind missions so you don't die. But unfortunately, it's a siege, so everyone has to follow me. Okay, so we just have to survive. Unfortunately, the zombies will just keep coming, which is not good. Let's go around. Come on, guys. <laughs> the AI can be spy sometimes. They're pretty good best friends by themselves, but they might be in a situation where they might die in a second. They're surviving, barely. Okay, Danielle's out. Okay, we can get out. Get out! <laughs> Alright. Made it. Killed the 20 zombies. My mood's not doing too good. Car is okay. No medical supplies, so we can't heal Dan yet. Okay, so we can choose a reward for having survived that situation. Let's make her run faster. Plus increases her mood. Car's smoking a little. I guess it's running out of... This is a nothing stop. Okay, so watch that road. We can take a detour, plow through it, or jump across it. <laughs> Alright, let's trust her and jump it. Survived. Car is very weak now, though. So we're probably going to need to find a new car soon. Okay. So we can explore this house or drive to another location. Let's do the drive to another location thing. Well, we have some gas and this car while this car's running. Okay, this is good. Let's visit the apartment. Starting to wave with them. Jeez. My character's getting really tired. Food, food. So much further, there not being a lot of zombies. There are plenty here. Let's lock that door. Should help us for a couple seconds. Ooh, hammer. Taking that. Slow swing speed, but probably lasts a while. Here. Oh, we can take this locker with us. That helps for flying through those zombies. More bullets. All 
All right, we can find magazines. They can give us stat boosts, so we can take them with us. Yeah, my friends kill that for me. Jesus Christ. Get what's serving that bookcase. Book Bullets. Luckily, I haven't ever seen anything jump out of any of these um, shower curtains before, like in Resident Evil. Baseball bat, a little useful for one of our party members. More bullets. All right, let's get out of here. I wonder what that is. Oh, pipe bomb. That might be my useful for later. Another one. Can I pick up more than one? Apparently, yes. Okay, good. These milk supplies come in handy. Nothing but shit. Let's try that actually. Alley oop. It worked apparently. They all blew up. Good. I can take this uh, rifle too. No bullets for it though. Do I have bolts now? Yep. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Pick up that pipe bomb if you would. No, she won't. Yep, okay, good, she has it. Now we just hope that doesn't have a friendly fire. Getting a lot of good items from this place. If we can ignore the zombies, I'd rather do that. Same room we've been in before. Okay, I guess we're just out of this place now. So, found some more food, medical supplies, lots of bullets, and killed 74 zombies. So now I have the meta magazine called Medicine today. Let's um, increase, I guess, my medical stats. Which means I'm shit at medical. Not too much gas, but the car's gonna die soon anyway. Okay, so um, we camp in a city apartment. Now it's on fire. There's a picture of a dog for some reason. Um, who leads the escape? I guess Contender would. Oh, we leave, uh, leave unhurt, and we learn her wits. She's a good character. Just gonna check some of these stats real quick. I'm gonna put the cowboy rifle away for now. Well, let's leave the pipe bomb behind too while we're at it. Alright, we need someone with good charisma to talk. Let's have her do it. Alright, so lowers our mood, but we learn about her attitude, which is not very good. Man, the contender has pretty good stats, except for morale. Well, that's obviously one we could fix, but I guess we'll have her do most of the stuff. Oh, I guess we lost one of our characters, so now it's just me. <laughs> we lost myself, so now it's just me and Contender. Let's um, go to the Strength Fitness Gym. So yeah, now we're down to two characters. I'll have her be the leader then. Did I lose all my weapons too? Yes, I did. So, crap, shit. Lost my pistol. Alright. 
Yeah, I guess if your morale gets slow enough, you can leave the party. Or she just did it randomly, which sucks. Alright, let's see how this character controls. So I have boxing gloves and an uppercut. Did our character stay behind? I guess they did. Can't pick up any other items weapon either. So I don't have to worry about weapons anymore, but I only have a fist now. Which isn't too bad. And at least they won't break. Looks like it has a lot of range too. So she's not bad melee option. Although the obvious um, flaw here is I can't use guns to get myself out of the situation. Lost well, stamina too. She isn't getting tired really easily, which is nice. Can I pick up this? Yes, I can. All right, we can use this to bust through some zombies if need be. Besides losing myself, not doing too bad. I don't know why I stayed around to kill him. I don't need to. Oops. Nothing. Okay, I can leave this place now. I should take this thing out with me and throw it out when I get outside. I'll leave you there. Oh, there! Okay, where the hell did you go? <laughs> I thought she was just left. That was weird. That zombie's pretty strong. Food. That's very important, especially we have, since we have like none left. Nothing in here. That's just dandy. Broom. She'll take that. I know for a fact brooms break you really easily too, though. Okay, gas. That's good. A lot of gas. Awesome. Food, food, medical. A lot of good supplies in this area. So I am digging this game. It's, um, one of those random, almost roguelike experiences is pretty fun. I've always been a fan of Oregon Trail things. Um, main complaints I've read online is basically the RNG is um, a little bit unfair. Oh shit! That could have been bad. <laughs> That's a big zombie. Let's leave that door locked. Okay, so you can tell when it's my blood, when it's red, and if it's their blood, it's black. Yeah, so that could have gone really bad really quickly. Nothing. Oh, there's something by the toilet. Tall zombie. I'm gonna lure these zombies around the other direction. Alright, follow me. Okay, so yeah, the AI is usually pretty smart about getting out of a situation on their own. I guess there's something left in this town. Let's get out of here. Unless there's something up here. Nope. Oh, 
How's the car doing? Okay, the engine's about to explode pretty much. We're both fully healed at the moment, so... Okay. Find an inn open for business. Owner rings your hands. Give me ten food and I'll watch over you while I sleep. We don't have enough food, so let's just drive off. I'm out of gas and... Okay, let's abandon the car. Okay, so now we're on foot. The game goes really slow at this point. And we'll keep losing stuff until we find a new car, basically. Ten days until Canada. Yeah, so we just everything goes bad as soon as you lose that car, basically. But luckily, it looks like we found another car that looks like the one we started off in. Except not really, because the color's different. Well, let's either investigate some more cars or drop off to another location. I say we drive off. I don't like the abandoned car lot. Um. Okay, let's deal with the cabin then. Danielle's a couple items at her disposal. So do I. Let's go. Danielle. I keep saying Danielle. I don't know right. why. I like the lighting in this situation. Lost stuff. Okay. Let's go crazy. Ugh, bad situation. Get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> okay, that wasn't good. A lot of bats, some kind of weird kookery. Gotta get these. Okay, I'm not going <laughs> deep in that nest for for whatever that is. Or maybe I can. Let's... Chainsaw. Chainsaws are really good, but force my character can't even use them, so... Anything else in this area? Or is it just that one cabin? It's just that one cabin. All right, luckily we found a lot, so let's just get out of here now. Get in the car. All right. That was good. Our mad moods are pretty bad at the moment, though. We have <laughs> graves we can dig up. Um, I guess let's dig up Luigi's. Got some guns. Okay, we'll give them all to Dan yet. Oh, no, we found um, basically Jason. Let's make him join our group. Okay. So now we have Jason in our party. What can go wrong? Let's um go and chop wood. Make Jason do it. Okay, so basically we increased our mood at this loss of his. A gator has car keys in his mouth. Let's have a contender wrestle a gator. Nice. Nine days till Canada. And the car's looking pretty good. We have no food left, and there's traders, but fortunately we have nothing to trade with, so we're gonna have to find some food fast. We found food removed, really was really bad. Okay, survive a horde for one hour. Let's try to play as Jason. He can carry one extra thing. Let's use the pipe bomb just in case. And yet, I'm gonna give you guns, because you, you'll need it for a situation. So the chainsaw uses gas, but obviously very strong. Hopefully my other characters will survive out there. I think someone just died. There's something in that car? I guess so. 
So, yep, okay. So, both my other characters just died. They got surrounded. But them is the business. Let's see. Alright, now all of them are going to be after me. I'll have to use this pipe bomb carefully. Luckily, all the zombies are also preoccupied with those bodies. Shit. Okay. Lost two party members, but I have Jason, I guess. Good thing he knows how to drive. Okay, so um, let's grease my morale and get a random skill. No food left either, sadly. I didn't know he had to eat. Mm, let's see. We can explore a factory. Let's do it. I'm bleeding. That's not good. Anything in here of value? I wonder what those zombies are attacking. bad place to be. Anything here? A value? Doesn't look like it. Something on the ground here. Combination lock, combination notes for a safe. Get out. One more door. Really not finding much, which is a shame. place to go. This is a big factory though. A lot of rooms with nothing in them. Okay, here's a safe. Take one thing. Uh, let's take the submachine gun. Even though I don't really have bolts for it. Is that a grenade? Yeah, that is. Food. Okay, so we might have found the one room with stuff in it. Just checking this lower area just in case. Out of gas, okay. So now I'm just armed with a mach machete and nothing else. This is gonna be great. Jesus, okay, I think I'm dead. Can I get out? Yeah, nope, I'm dead. Alright, so that's the end of our second run. I think I have enough time for one more. I hope we can get farther. Let's give CJ one more try. <laughs> I 
Do our stats stay the same between things? I guess not. Let's go to this hotel. So the game does get a lot harder the farther you go in. Uh, for obvious reasons, that's amp up. But yeah, some people have been complaining about it being a little bit too tough. Especially towards the end. Nothing here, pretty much. Three rooms, okay. These first aid kits will be very useful. I found gas is, hasn't been of much value to me since I'm always using cars before I run out of gas. Okay, open this door. There we go. Nothing. All right, I think we had uh, two more doors to check and then we're done. Yep, okay, one. The farther you get through games, the perks actually do enhance, though, so you get to keep some kind of um, um, stat permanence instead of everything being lost. So the game eventually does get easier the more you play it, but um, it takes a while. Let's go. Got some good stuff there. Basically, the food, you consume like four food a day, or a two per person, I should say. Alright, so we can go to police station or banner with help. Um, let's go to banner with help again. That means we can find our party member. Not a lot of zombies either, which is nice. I don't want that. Get out of here. <laughs> Nothing. Lots of food, apparently. That's nice. house layout makes no sense. place when you go. Tall zombie. Dies in one hit though. Definitely need guns soon. Character's getting really uh, tired too.
Don't know why I had to fight that one. Yeah, the milk pipe lasts for a long time. Only problem is it does take a lot of stamina to use. But it's my favorite so far in terms of just damage output. New survivor. Clementine. Obviously it doesn't look like the one from Walking Dead, but I guess it's just one of rambling generated names to come up with. Doesn't help to have more company though. Oh shit. Two more houses we can explore. That one has absolutely nothing in it. Bullets. Lots of bullets. Here we go. Gun. That's going to be useful. Gun in the frying pan. I'll let one of them take it. What's my character trying to pick up here? Spatula? Okay, that's not going to be of any use. But for all I know, that could be the strongest weapon in the game. Lost my knife. A lot of stuff in here. Okay. I'm gonna get the cane. Alright, let's get out of here. Especially when there's no zombies around. Have I been to that house yet? Maybe. Okay, haven't been to that house yet. Let's go do it. Oops. Okay, I guess I'm leaving. <laughs> Alright, so we can get training from her or we can recruit her. You know what? Let's uh, get training. Just so we can have more stamina. Plus one less mouth to feed. So we can... Um, Repair the car for two days. Let's try that. Apparently not... <laughs> armor sort of up. Um, lose some food and my mechanical increases. But morale went up. So, peace of mind, I guess. The car's in great shape right now. And we have two, two weeks. Let's drive away with no sleep. Alright, Cars Jam, playing the same song over and over, who should try to repair it? Uh, let's just turn it off. That was easy. Didn't have to worry about any stat rolls for that one. I'll go to one of those training camps eventually, it's just we never have food. Ooh, we can have a dog join us. Thanks to CJ. Alright, now we have a dog in the party. Dog with very low morale, I guess. Okay, have to survive. Can a dog get a golf club? A dog can get a golf club. That's awesome. CJ, you're getting that too. Just because you need something better in a frying pan. Right, survive for until five o'clock. <laughs> Dog with a golf club. I guess he's not really using it though. This way, guys. I don't have that much stamina. I guess this lead pipe's heavy. Can I get the cop club? All right, let's try that. Found some gas. And some bullets. 
All right, let's get out of here. That was easy. Let's graze everyone's brow and get some skills. Nice. The dog's shooting increases. <laughs> some ammo. Um, looks like some pipe bombs are there. Let's not take the pipe bombs. Let's just visit the trader camp. We don't need food, but there might be someone here that can join us or something. Oh. Okay. I guess got some bullets out of that, at the very least. Alright, she trains you on shooting. This guy's gas. That's it for this training po post, I guess. Oh. Dumpster. There's an insane food for them. So, um, these areas are randomly generated too, because I found some other people in the other ones. Trapped in a location. I try to avoid um, bad situations. As long as they're hunting in this area, let's try somewhere else then. Got to be somewhere else to go. Okay, this is much better. Um, bookstore. Guess the dog's just best on zone. Looks more like a grocery store than a bookstore, but I'll take it. A lot of books. Okay, so some of the books, books look like pickup bubbles, some of them look like throw bubbles. Which, fair enough. I guess knowledge is power. Books are very strong. <laughs> problems picking up some stuff sometimes. Can we get his skip through there? Nope. All right, I'm gonna check the mill area just in case there's anything I can I missed. Didn't find any food or anything sadly. One more door we can explore. Let's make it quick. One thing in the toilet up there. Let's go for it. Two things, I should say. Okay, so we found some gas from the toilet. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, we learned CJ's fitness. Not too good. Cars run out of gas and abandoned, so... What's good that did? So everything's gonna be shit for a while until we find some more stuff. A nice walk. Okay. Okay, so we can either fight the bear or abandon everything. Let's fight the bear. Alright. Everyone's really hurt now, but we keep our stuff. A new car, okay. Um, SUVs. They're also very durable, but break down. Or very slow, I should say. I read that wrong. Alright, we get to play some mini golf, get our morale up. It's been doing a breed down lately. Helps increasing because we have some medical supplies. 
Let's go to the medical clinic. Doesn't really look like anything's in here. Okay. Computer room. Sadly, I don't think the internet's gonna do as much good in a zombie apocalypse, so we'll get out of here. Medicine, good. If anything, we need food the most, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of that around. Let's go the airway. My party members will be smart enough to follow me out of the room. Okay, let's see what's around. Dead end. A lot of stuff in here. Um, Okay, revolver. I might have to go back and save my party members because I don't know if they can find their way around that wall. The AI path thing wasn't too good, I guess. That looks useful. Except it's not. At least I'm finding a lot of stuff. Load, but looks like they do a lot of damage. Oh, they're okay. Dog's okay. All right, where's CJ? Have you seen CJ, buddy? Shotgun. Okay, good. CJ dead, buddy? Well, let's see if we can leave. Let's see what happens. Left behind CJ. Alright, sorry CJ, but that was weird. Um, to Chubby Chibi on um, premise, it's basically like Oregon Trail or any roguelike kind of thing. You try to get to Canada within uh, two weeks and just try to scan supplies and survive. Um, candy Bar... Dog shouldn't eat chocolate, so let's just have me eat it. Huh, made it feel good. Okay.
let's go explore some shops. Shops there are all blocked off, especially in Butt Bill. Are all these shops blocked off? Okay, good, that we get something. Arcade. Fuck. This might have just been a whole waste of time. Coffee shop. You gotta have something, right? Holy shit, there's nothing here. <laughs> okay, guess we're getting leaving. Get in. Yeah, we got nothing here except for guns and zombies. That sucks. Oh, shit! Octodad. Alright, we got Octodad in our party now. Okay, we can have Octodad try to heal the peep, these raiders that are trying to ambush us. Let's try that. Nice. So Octodad's average at medicine. Okay, so we reach camp, we can shoot some cans. Get some stress out of the way and that shooting increases. Looks like a man was protecting the cans though he's mad at us. <laughs> Dog's really not happy at all. Shit. Cars out of gas. On foot again, which is not good. So, nine days till Canada. Zombie horde. We jumped off the cliff. And we're now hurt. Alright, found a new car. And some gas for it. Run to some people. They offer food in exchange for help. Let's, um... Let's have Octodad do some repair work. Okay, that didn't turn out too well. So it looks like he has custom text too. I wonder what weapons he has. Okay, so you can equip stuff too. That's nice. Well, let's visit Trader Camp. We don't need food, but maybe we can find something in here. How are we going to attack people? No. Alright, so without any supplies, looks like we have no purpose for being here. Very calm music right now. Definitely not doing too good right now. Well, at least Octodad can heal us. Um, okay, let's see. We have to flee to a factory. Okay, you get that. I'll let you have the shotgun. And let's have Octodad carry a Molotov cocktail, because why not? Can we just leave this area? Okay, we have to find another way out. Wow, that's dangerous. Gotta be way out of here. Basically took the long way around to get that door. It's kinda cool though, it's like a dark maze. Shotgun, <laughs> the thumb. Octaz is going crazy with that shotgun. Shit. Okay, let's get out of there. Wrench. Let's 
gotta be a way out. Let's see. There's the door. Oh, okay, good. All right. We keep the car for some reason, though we took a different path out. That's weird. Let's do, um... Let's get some more morale back up, actually. So we're not totally screwed. Gonna be running out of gas soon again, though. Alright, zombie watch. Let's take shifts. Everyone's morale is really down since we have no food left. And out of gas. Okay, a little bit more than a week to Canada, and we're doing really bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, and I stole everything. So it's just me. It's just Octo Dad and the dog. We got attacked by Feral Cat. Very bad state. Okay, there's a car and a very thick swarm of zombies. Let's go for it. We have nothing besides a shotgun. <laughs> and a Molotov cocktail. This is great. Do we have no bolts for the... Oh, shit. Okay. Very bad situation. It's a gas for a car we don't have. There's the car. Okay. Is it a cop car? I guess it is. At least we have a car again. I might be having to play as a dog later. Shit. Let's go to the car stop then. Have nothing. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I have to literally attack with a shotgun, melee style. I mean, if I had to play as a dog, I guess I would, but... Yeah, it's a very bad situation. You definitely have to find some weapons. Things were going so well earlier, too. Get the fuck out of my way. Is that a weapon I can use? Fuck, I'm dead! Just a dog. Can a dog drive? Dog with a shotgun. Alright, so, bad news, I'm down to a dog, but maybe the dog... At least the dog's really fast, and I can just use my melee attack. Bad situation, though. I can play as a, I can drive a car as a dog! Okay. Nice. <laughs> Alright. They can find some other survivors, hopefully. Got some advice. Eight days of Canada, so it's still more than a week. Tried to fight some bandits, got hurt along the way. Found a cabin, at least. We definitely need a car, though. Okay. So, same as last time, we have to go through a car park to find a vehicle. Is this... Is this the dogmobile? <laughs> Shit! Okay. Okay, we have to find keys for it. Should be in this building, I'm assuming. Luckily, being a dog is super fast. Where would the keys be? Yeah, looks like I can juke most of these guys. Let's all lure them up on this top path, and I'll take the bomb path. Okay, go.
dog just breaking into vending machines for some food. Where's the keys? Nothing in here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, okay. Shit, okay. That ends Latoya the dog's journey. All right, so that was an hour and a half of Death Road to Canada. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, little janky here and there and but has a lot of appeal and I almost got to drive a dog mobile as a dog so thanks for watching um, next time we have a stream well you're definitely invited all right so this game $15 on Steam right now um, it's still getting updates regularly at the moment and I can't wait to see how good looks um, a couple weeks from now bye